Welcome back to Father G's Desk. I'm here with my son, Colby, and my grandson, Rafi, Raphael, the healer. Okay, so they'll help me through today. So we are heading into Ascension Sunday, and also the Novena for the, to the Holy Spirit is on right now, uh, these nine days. And we uh, also have Mother's Day on Sunday, wishing all our mothers a blessed, blessed and healthy uh, day, but also the year ahead as we ask God's blessing upon you. Okay, so let us, as we are approaching very quickly our 50th anniversary, uh, let us ask God's blessing down upon us. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So in thanksgiving for the past 50 years, our parish of St. Peter the Apostle has gathered to give glory to God and celebrate his presence among us while serving the lost, the hungry, and the forgotten in our area. And so in thanksgiving for the lives and service of all the pastors in these 50 years, our shepherds here at St. Peter's in these 50 years, we give God uh, praise and thanks to Father Hickey, the founder, to Father Farrell, Father Tabert, Father uh, Navin, Father Felice, and also myself for the shepherding role that, and the challenges that we have to face as shepherds. May God continue to bless them, bless us, but more importantly, bless our parish that we will be protected from all harm. May the angels surround us and may the Holy Spirit within us be spread through our neighborhood to the four corners of the globe as this Sunday challenges us to do. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So now it comes to our youth in this 50th anniversary. And they are going to bring us into prayer. They are going on a retreat up in Orlando. It's a beautiful retreat for young people. There will be thousands of teenagers gathering together with ours. Uh, so our youth group will be hosting a FAIR, F-A-I-R, fundraiser for their upcoming retreat. So it's the uh, fundraiser, the FAIR, will take place on this Saturday, May the 11th at 4.30. So right after the 3.30 Mass outside the Spirit Center Garden. So many activities for the whole family. Any and all contributions are welcome, especially for our young people, the poor among our young people, and we'll help them to afford to go on this trip and to have their lives changed for the better. So we're also looking for volunteers to help with the event of this uh, fair fundraiser. So please contact the parish office if you are interested. Please, please help our young people to help themselves. Um, St. Vincent of Paul. The van, uh, as we reach out to the poor in our area, um, the van will be parked in front of the church for your donations of food and contributions. As uh, our council of St. Vincent of Paul reach out to the poor and needy and forgotten in our area. The Aramaeus Women's Group will be offering a variety of food, mostly Spanish food, for Sunday, May the 19th. This will take place in the Spirit Garden between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. So again, Sunday, so with the after the 8 o'clock Mass, the 10 o'clock Mass, the noon Mass, and before the 2 noon Mass. So proceeds will benefit their upcoming retreat. So the uh, Spanish ladies, they will be going on retreat, praying for us and for themselves and growing in their spirituality. So please mark your calendars for this event coming up Sunday, uh, May 19th in the Spirit Center. 
We truly need to spread uh, to stress this and pass the word around. Uh, we will once again be celebrating a mass for the upcoming high school and college graduates on Sunday, June 16th at the 12 noon mass. Again, a mass for our graduates for our upcoming high school and college graduates only on Sunday, June 16th at the 12 noon mass. Please contact the parish office. If you plan to attend this mass, please give at the office or on phone. Please leave your name, a contact number, and where you are graduating from. So again, high school graduates, because I made the mistake last Sunday of saying middle school, going to high school, no. It is high school graduates and also uh, college graduates. And we need a contact because we want to uh, give out some gifts to our graduates in appreciation for and congratulations for uh, this uh, great endeavor that they have achieved. Uh, summer Bible Camp. Uh, we will have this camp at the St. Peter's Spirit Center the week of Monday, July 22nd through to Friday, July 26th. Registration for the camp will begin on Monday, June the 3rd through Friday, July the 5th. This is by appointment only. So you better get your registration, Mr. Ruffy, right? Okay. Please call the parish office to make an appointment with the religious ed staff. See the bulletin for uh, additional details because we will need your support as usual for our simul, the summer Bible camp. And again, the main contact, our religious ed department with Joan and with Natalia. So please by appointment only. <laughs> Registration for the 2024-2025 program year religious ed classes will begin again by appointment only because we had the open door before. Now it's getting late. Classes are limited. The size is limited. So please, on Monday, June the 3rd through August the 16th, by appointment only, please register. And call the parish office or come in during the regular office hours for an appointment form. Please register early to uh, reserve a space for your child. Our children's liturgy of the word at the noon mass on Sunday will be ending on May 19th. We thank our volunteers that have helped us out. The liturgy of the word will continue in the fall. They need to take a break and go and visit their families. And also a lot of the kids are gone to take a break as well for the summer. So again, we thank our um, ministers for reaching out to our little ones and sharing God's word with them at their level. If you have someone who needs or would like a prayer shawl, or if you're visiting a nursing home where there is a resident who would love a prayer shawl, stop by the church office and request one. So what is a prayer shawl? It's a very ancient tradition, back to our Jewish roots and the early Christian church. A prayer shawl is uh, a group of people, parishioners, who come together, and what they do is they knit a shawl, and while they're doing it, they uh, pray, and whoever uses that shawl, as I did when I was in ICU, uh, they can feel comfort knowing that the community here at St. Peter the Apostle Parish are praying for them and that they're sending their love uh, through that prayer shawl that they prayed over and is blessed at Mass as well by myself and the community. So that will bring a healing power into the life of those who are sick. Sick physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, like not going to church, that's spiritual sickness. Um, also relational sickness, whatever. 
you know, their, uh, sickness comes in many forms. So again, the prayer shawl is here at the office. Please pass by and request one. Mass for people with special needs. Uh, this will be celebrated with the anointing of the sick for anyone who is sick in any way, like I just said with the prayer shawl. There are various ways of sickness. But this is not a sickness, it's a very often a gift when we're dealing with people with special needs. And this will take place Friday, May 31st. Again, every last Friday of each month, we celebrate Mass with the anointing of the sick, as was stated in the Bible itself. And the priests uh, will follow that tradition, the very ancient tradition. So it takes place at our 8 a.m. Mass. So if you know of someone, a person with special needs and challenges, please uh, come to that Friday 8 a.m. Mass at, on May 31st. The Knights of Columbus will be hosting the people with special needs. The Knights of Columbus golf event is coming up. It's uh, next Saturday, believe it or not, May 18th. So please look at the bulletin for more information. A funeral mass will be celebrated for Stephen Alvino on Tuesday, May 14th at 10 a.m. Uh, the First Communion is coming up as well. What a beautiful day that is when they, the kids dress up in their best. And this takes place May 18th, so they're very excited with the uh, classes that they've gone through um, and the excitement within their hearts about coming to the altar of the Lord and sharing communion with us. So First Holy Communion will take place on Saturday, 10 a.m., May the 18th. So please come and show your support for our First Communion people, our kids, and our youth. Because some are not kids anymore, but they're late. They want to come back to the church, and uh, many of them making that decision themselves as teenagers. So again, First Communion, Holy Communion Saturday, May the 18th at 10 a.m. The Knights of Columbus Blood Drive takes place the same time, same day, on Saturday, May 18th, from 8 a.m. to noon. So please register so the nurses from the NCH are ready for you, and it's by appointment. So please support the gift of life in this blood drive. And this takes place over across the road in the, uh, the ministry center. You'll see the blood drive um, uh, RV in front of the building there. Our fifth anniversary of the parish, as stated in prayer earlier, uh, it will take place Sunday at noon Mass with the bishop at 9, ju uh, June the 9th. Sunday, again, noon Mass. It will be a trilingual Mass because it will represent the whole parish. So please come out. We have all this uh, uh, food and music from the various cultures of our parish. So there will be a reception after the Mass. The music uh, will be uh, trilingual, as I said, during the Mass. So please come and have a good time. If you're up north, please keep us in your prayers as we and you who follow us are part of this beautiful anniversary, our 50th anniversary of the parish. Okay, so we ask God's blessing upon our committee <laughs> who are getting this 50th anniversary together. God bless them and God bless us in our 50 years together as a flock under one good shepherd, Jesus Christ. May he continue to guide us, give us wisdom on our journey of life as a parish, because especially at St. Peter's with all the languages and cultures um, united, we stand, divided, we fall. Out of diversity comes one people. May the Lord bless us with that, especially as we have the uh, 
symbol of that, the ascended, ascending Christ with the different flags and colors of uh, the, um, the world. And so we asked our Lord of the nations to truly be with us, protect us from the evil one who wants to divide. But we are truly blessed here at St. Peter's. St. Peter, Peter, Petros, the rock. May we always know his strength. May God bless you. God bless your, your journey of life. But also, if you're traveling now, um, which a lot of people are doing, may God bless you on your journey and protect you from all harm. And please pray for all who are affected by the natural disasters, especially in um, Tornado Alley. And, and please pray for us as we enter into the rainy season and then the hurricane season. Ask God's blessing upon us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless.